guys. I'm so excited because today I'm bringing you another fairy loot unboxing and it just came in the mail. I opened it yet, so I'm so excited to show you. So let's get into it. I did cut it open already, but I didn't open it. So. Here you can see, I don't know if you can see a lot, but here it is. So, so the first thing in the box is this little print, this card with the print on the front and on the back it says what is in the box and it also says the theme. The theme of this month's box is Myths and Monsters. I'm sorry, I know I pronounced the first word wrong, but I don't know how to pro pronounce it. Or I do know, but I just, I can't, so yeah. Let's not say this word again, so I don't make much more of a fool of myself than I already do. And I wanted to say this at the beginning of every video, but I forgot until now. So I know that my English sometimes seems really, really bad. When I edit my videos, I cringe at some of the things I say. But I, I don't know how, like in my head, my English is pretty perfect. I mean, obviously it's not perfect, perfect, but I know all the words and all, all the grammar and everything because I read almost exclusively in English. I watch all my TV shows almost exclusively in English. Like I sometimes even think in English, but I hardly ever speak English because who am I supposed to speak with? Like in school, yes, obviously you had to speak English during, um, your English lessons and my English pronunciation and whatever was a lot better back then but now I only speak English when it comes to my videos and so yeah it's sometimes it's so pretty shitty and I, I don't know what sometimes I just say book instead of books or video instead of videos or pronounce things really weirdly and I don't even notice and then when I'm editing I'm like what the fuck but I hope it It'll get better the more videos I produce because obviously the more I speak the better it will get. So yeah, I'm sorry. Back to fairy loot, which is the most exciting thing, but I thought I should mention it. Okay, there's something really interesting. Oh, but it's way down, so it's not here. Oh! Unicorn fairy lights. That seems interesting. So there are apparently pink unicorns and white rainbows. Okay, battery operated, so you don't need to like plug it in, that's good as well. Then, oh, ah, we have magnetic bookmarks, oh, they're so sweet, they're so cute. It's a phoenix and a dragon, I'm not sure if they're from a specific like book or anything or a fandom but I think they're just a phoenix and a dragon then we have this what's this? oh it's a mirror so I'm, I'm not going to show you the bag because obviously then it'll be weird but it's just a mirror on the bag and it's like a mermaid on the front and it's called mermaid pocket mirror fairy loot exclusive okay that's awesome I love these little mirrors because you can just throw them in your purse and you have a mirror and just something that seems like a really cute pin or something, but it's actually a mirror. Then we have this. It's Geeky Clean Nephilim Black Cherry and Lime Soy Wax Candle. Oh, it's a candle. Oh, it smells really cherry y, cherry, cher cherry -y, I don't know. And it's red and it's Nephilim. So, I mean, I'm always excited about candles, but I don't really like this design much. I don't know, it seems kind of weird. I'm sorry, although it's cool because it's Nephilim, but yeah. Then, oh, okay, so that's what I saw at the beginning, what had me excited, but I didn't want to take it out. What's this? It seems like a scarf or something. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's a scarf and it has like dragon scales or what I guess are dragon scales on it. And it's a scarf. Okay, that's cool. It's pretty light, so that's great for the summer. Okay, it says fairy loot on the bottom. Does it say something here? No, it simply says fairy loot. And then... Oh, 
Okay, we have this little card, which is advertisement for Fallen by Lauren Kate. Oh, it's a film now. It's a movie. So it's it's a movie advertisement. I don't know. And then we have the fairy loot um, thing. It's the anniversary box, which is why it's purple. And in here we have like a little story about how fairy loot began. And in the back there are some pictures of past boxes. Oh, okay, the book seems really big. So here's the book. It seems pretty big. Oh, and it's blue. Can you see it? Like on t at the top, the pages are blue. I have no idea what could be in here. I really, really don't. So, okay, the first thing is the fairy loot, like um, body reading card. Then we have this one, and now I know the book because I saw kind of part of the cover, and it says. Did the unseen city still stand? What power could erase a name from the minds of the world? And it's just a little postcard. And here is the um, letter from the author. And here's the book. And it's Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. So I'm really excited about this. I've heard a lot of bu I've heard a lot about this book, but I'm not exactly sure what it's about, so. Yeah, but it's cool. It's a hardcover, obviously. I really like the cover. It feels really nice. It has this gold embossing and the edges of the pages are blue all the way around. So, yeah, let's see what's under the dust jacket. Okay, it's pretty simple. But still, it's, it's really cool. So, let's see. Here's the fairy scoop for the next month. So, I actually thought there was... I thought I'd read somewhere that there was going to be like a cup in here, but apparently it isn't. But yeah. Next one is Dreams and Wishes. No um, signed author plate apparently, so that's really sad. I would have liked one, but it's still it's probably a really great book. I've not read anything about Lainey Taylor, although I've heard a lot of people raving about her. But a lot of those people who raved about her seem to be disappointed by Strange the Dreamer. But as I have not read anything else, I'm not probably I'm probably not going to be disappointed when comparing it to her other works. And yes, I'm really excited for this one. So let's just check back in with the card and see what everything is or where it's from. So the first thing is this scarf. It's a silver dragon scale scarf made exclusively for this box by Give Art. And it is the perfect accessory. Note, no dragons were harmed in the making of this scarf. Which is a relief to hear. Because I wouldn't want any dragons to be harmed for me or for the scarf. So, yeah. Then we have the unicorn fairy lights. They are brought to you by Mustard. I've never heard about Mustard. I've never heard of Give Art either. So, yeah. so the next thing was the Nephilim candle, candle. Which was exclusively made for this box by Geeky Clean which obviously is from Geeky Clean. And then the next thing is this um, mermaid mirror, which also was exclusively made for fairy loot by Book Otter. Or and then we have the Dragon and Phoenix magnetic bookmarks by Bonnie Tissimo. Bonnie Tissimo, yes. So there aren't any fandom related items or anything. They're just a phoenix and a dragon, which is pretty amazing in and of itself. And apparently this fallen thing gets you an exclusive online chapter sampler thing, whatever, so yeah. So I'm really happy with this box, I think I liked last month a little better. Um, I really like the scarf and uh, bookmarks and the mirror, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use the mirror and I don't love the candle and the fairy lights are fun, but I'm not really sure I'm going to use them either. So all in all, I preferred last month's box, but I really, really like this one as well. And I'm looking forward to the next one. And that's it. Bye.